Welcome to another episode of the Coaching Couch Podcast. Today is a special episode because we are going to unlose, rediscover, re-uncover an episode. Today's topic is why sharing is caring. And with me is Kitty. Hi there, Kitty. Hey, hey. See you again. <laughs> yeah. My name is Katrine. And my name and, is Kitty. Yes. And we uh, actually did this episode already. We didn't record it, which is why we called it the lost episode. And we both kind of didn't remember what we even talked about. So this could be that it's totally new for us too. Sharing is caring. That's our topic for today. And I thought about where I first heard that sharing is caring. And I, for me, it would be uh, on social media naturally. Um, maybe something like Facebook or Twitter, where someone would say, here, I got this piece of content and sharing is caring, like, please share my stuff. And of course they write it because they want their content shared. They want me to, to, to spread whatever it is that they have written or that they have to sell or whatever that is. But then why would I share that? Would I share that because I care about my friend and, and I want to help promote their business? Or because I care about my audience, like my friends, and I, I want to share interesting stuff with them? Or is it because I actually care about the thing, like the content that they're sharing? For example, um, if they were sharing something about um, gender inequality or, or uh, a new psychological study, <clears throat> sorry, a uh, new psychological study that I would find interesting, I would maybe mostly be sharing it because I cared about the content. So I guess there, there are a lot of different aspects to why would you would share yeah, to care. I think it, it kind of uh, goes into um, the connection that you have because you have either a connection to, uh, uh, to the person sharing or to the content or sometimes both, which would be uh, even better, I think at least more mm -hmm. satisfying to share. Yeah, so it's, it's a, a caring about like the source, the, the person who sends it um, because you want to help them um, or caring about the content or maybe you share something because it's, it's not so much something that like is close to home for yourself, but you know you have people in your in your friends or your social circles on social media that um, that care about a certain issue and they would appreciate you sharing this. Mm -hmm. So th there are a lot of aspects about uh, about uh, why you would share something and and how you can how you can view this as caring. Um, and I I'm wondering thinking about my social media channels. Like I was just in my mind going through my Twitter feed and I was trying to think of why did these people share whatever it was that they shared? And, and if we say sharing is caring, what it was that they cared about the moment that they shared. What do you think? Yeah, I don't know. I think uh, mediums such as Twitter is not so much on the caring part, uh, depending on uh, who is uh, who is sharing uh, and on the topic itself, but mostly it's responding. And I don't see it as much, or most of the of the tweets in my timeline at least. It's mostly people responding to other people's content or news or whatever. Um, and not so much on the topic in itself yeah but sharing thoughts is not sharing too yeah but it's less deep for me i don't know you think so i feel emotionally uh, less attached to tweets than i do <laughs> to uh i don't know other stuff <laughs> can you can you can you can you say what other stuff you feel more emotional about um uh, like if somebody shares something I don't know, maybe it's also, uh, oh, sorry, I'm not finishing my sentences. Um, <laughs> uh, when somebody shares something in the in our uh, coaching Slack channel, for instance. I don't know, it's also a closer community. 
maybe that helps yeah. for me at least to, yeah uh, yeah sure yeah. certainly twitter is a very open community by design yeah, yeah. which is what makes it strong more, but i think what i appreciate more is um uh, the vulnerability of people once they share something so not for the benefit of their sales or whatever oh yeah or just opinion given opinion um but if it's something from the heart it's more vulnerable i tend to appreciate that more yes it takes it takes real balls to be uh mm. very open and vulnerable in a medium such as twitter yeah and, and it's so easy to attack and i really oh, really appreciate wow. that but uh most of the of my timeline is not filled with uh no and 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 i mean i wouldn't want to spend or, or have a timeline filled with people you know opening up about themselves yeah, it's like no. not that interesting to i mean it's a little bit of it is fine but uh there are other mm -hmm. things i'm interested in too mm -hmm. um but uh it takes it's, it's probably easier in a, in a closer knit community or a smaller mm -hmm. community anyway um mm -hmm. to open up and and uh maybe also I mean, I was just thinking, is it, is it about via the internet versus in person? If, if the sharing is really different, uh, I mean, it's kind of hard to do an in-person broadcast like on Twitter, maybe having a talk about something at a conference could mm -hmm. be sort of like that to an anonymous audience. Mm -hmm. um, but I was going with was uh, sharing a thought, sharing mm -hmm. an idea. You know, a lot of uh, what we do is uh, we hang out at conferences and on conferences and share our ideas. Mm -hmm. um, and I value that a lot. I value that a lot, uh, not just for me to get to share whatever I think, but when other people share their stuff. Um, and I feel that in other communities, um, people don't share because they somehow think it puts them at a, at a disadvantage. If I share my secret, then everybody knows my secret, and then I I lose whatever uh, head start or advantage I have. Mm -hmm. And that is not so much the case in the agile coaching community, uh, which I value a lot. Um, and that's why sharing is caring. I think it was, wasn't it like the theme of one on conference at some point? Or did someone just mention it? I have no clue. <laughs> Anyway, I, don't I think know what it means anymore. I just know. <laughs> I, I think it fits very well. The, the the overall vibe and idea is that kind of the same as I, as I said in the beginning. If you care about about your ideas, even like you have a new idea or a thought, and you care about that, you care about coaching, for example, mm -hmm. and you don't share that then I find it hard to say that you really care about that topic because if it's just you that has that thought and that idea and you tell no one, you don't share, mm -hmm. then to the rest of the world, it's as if that had never existed. Yeah. Yeah. And so, and so no value. Yes. It's like with art, you know, people, so, uh, some very famous uh, paintings, they get stolen. And of course, mm -hmm. You can never show them to the to the public because everybody would know you stole the painting um or or people put them in a vault to keep them uh -huh. safe and i'm like why it's uh -huh. it's the same as if it didn't exist at all i mean put but it then out for a painting you could have a look at it yourself so that's different yes but but like is, is that really is that caring is that caring about the art no, that's selfish. <laughs> I, I, and that's kind of, if you care about art and if you, or if you care about your, your ideas or the topic that you're passionate about, um, I don't know, wouldn't you want the world to know about it? You know, if you have yeah, a and great sometimes idea. I would, yeah, sometimes I have these ideas and I want to share, <laughs> share them because I'm not attached to them yet. I mean, mm -hmm. things just bubble up and you don't know if it's going to be something. It's just, just a thought, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, not molded enough or I don't know. Yeah, but still you care about it enough. And then it's, yeah, for me then it's very valuable to, because I care about the topic or what it could be in the future. Mm -hmm. 
uh, and I think it's very nice to to share that and to see if other people can uh, collaborate on that idea or I don't know just to, uh, yeah, to, to help you evolve the, the idea and to grow it yeah and yeah. To, to reflect or maybe, upon it I don't know maybe it's not for me and it's for somebody else which is fine because I wasn't too emotionally attached anyway uh, to begin with yeah yeah, but it's it's a thought that you share with someone yeah. and, and it can grow mm -hmm. into something or you end up talking about something entirely different that wouldn't have yes. happened otherwise. Exactly. Um, yeah. And that's, gone off. In, in a way, you could say it's selfish. Like you, you share something and, and mm -hmm. then that other person helps you to think about your own thought or helps you to, to evolve your own idea mm -hmm. um, or, uh, you know, to even just have a nice conversation and that can be like selfish. I do this to have that conversation or mm -hmm. I do this to have these other pe people help me uh, yeah. think about things. And that's in a way it's self care. It's like, I care about this topic and I care about yeah. this, um, you know, evolving this. I keep repeating myself. Um, and then you share it mm -hmm. to, to, to get help on it. Yeah, because I think that's, in a sense, uh, what sharing is about, that you don't keep it to yourself or you don't give it away to somebody. Mm. I mean, it's not altruism. The sharing is when it when something becomes something for more people. Uh, yes. It's more valuable in, in a sense. Like if you think about yeah. sharing a car. Mm -hmm. um, right now, my car sits in my garage. Mm -hmm. Does it generate value sitting there? No. It costs me money sitting there. Um, and, and it's now it's nighttime, so probably no one needs the car at the moment. But if I were sharing the car with someone, mm -hmm. then during the time that I don't need it, it could be valuable to someone else. Mm -hmm. And that's with mater material things. Um, there are hard to, uh, to share without not having them at the same time. Like if you lend someone a hammer, then you're mm -hmm. not going to have your hammer for a while. But especially with ideas and, and, and knowledge and um, thoughts, um, you don't lose them if you share them. Mm -hmm. And and if no, actually, I think it, it, you sort of have a multiplier effect because if you start with one thought or idea. Uh, Although it might be altered along the way, it's it's a new idea, the second or the third or the fourth iteration uh, oh, yeah. of yeah, the yeah. idea. I mean, the original still exists. Sure. And, so, and everything yeah, that we know... It becomes more. Yes. Everything that any of us knows is because someone shared something with us. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's, whether it's your mom that showed you how to tie your shoelaces or uh, it's a teacher at school, or if it's science, you know, someone wrote a paper about something, mm -hmm. um, they shared th that. Yeah. They shared that idea, sometimes in exchange for money, but they shared that. Mm -hmm. And we would be nowhere if no one shared anything. I think it's also why storytelling is so, uh, appeals to me so much. I mm -hmm. mean, uh, from the old days, the myths and such, but also uh, in everyday life. I mean, it's beautiful to hear someone's story. And it's also, I don't know, you get more understanding or more, uh, yeah, connection to that person if you share your stories. Mm -hmm. uh, and also on product use, if you want to uh, uh, take it to a sort of a business side. It's also more easy to comprehend and to understand or to stand in someone's shoes um, by telling to, stories yeah by telling stories yeah. can you make an example for business you mean yes it's like storytelling like make, for business for a product uh, i'm not i mean I if make you a if you do customer journeys or whatever oh yeah uh -huh. you make a persona okay this is my customer i don't know yeah xyz <laughs> my customer x um is this type of person and this is how he or she moves along with the product and you get a more of an understanding of uh, of the total context and not just okay this product on um, this uh moment in time is used in this yeah. way 
Yeah. You say, oh no, actually, yeah, it's it's uh, meant to uh, to be needed in this way on this moment, but I don't know along the life cycle of the project of the product, um, it can evolve, and we should add this or we should take away this and this, or make it more modular or whatever. Else. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, and you have to care. Yes. In order to do that, yeah. you know, if if say you had a company and all you cared about was money, like let's make boatloads of money, and you didn't care about the product or the product's users, mm -hmm. then you wouldn't spend the time to do this. I mean, your product probably would suffer from you ignoring the, the its users. Mm -hmm. um, but if you really care about the thing that you do and about um, the way in, in, in which people are affected by whatever you do, mm -hmm. um, then, I mean, then the product gets better, but um, probably then also people are more likely to share that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, and I think, uh, I don't know, making a connection between sharing and uh, products or storytelling, so it's the same with uh, like peer reviews. Mm -hmm. uh, if you buy stuff on, on anywhere online without uh, <laughs> making contributions. We're not being paid here, so we're not naming the, it. Anymore. The people, uh, yeah. No, I'm not going to say the, mm -hmm. the name at the first of the alphabet. Um, um, but then again, I do read the reviews that people uh, uh, tell because it tells me something about the use of the product and whether it's good for me or not. Or oh, absolutely. When I read, when I read books or want to read uh, I read a lot of books. Uh, I, I look on Goodreads and I see, okay, who the people I uh, I know or I like or um, their opinion means something to me. I read their reviews and, you know, use that also to uh, to go for it now or in six months or never. Yeah, I mean, that's been around for a long time. Usually it's yeah. even printed on the books. Like... Mm -hmm whatever a newspaper review or some famous person says about this book mm -hmm. something yeah. um that's i mean it's also a a uh, a very good way of marketing yes. you know it's it, people yeah. know that people respond to other people suggesting mm -hmm. something yeah and not just self-marketing um so that's like on the is that why why is that caring that sharing you know um, well, I if, care about other people's opinions. Yes, but um, if if I were, I just got to that thought by thinking about why isn't anyone sponsoring us, you know, to name drop mm -hmm. <laughs> some online shop or someone. Um, and I, I'm not sure sometimes like people recommend something because they're being paid. Um, and, and then I wonder, is that still caring? And is that still sharing if it's, you know, I don't actually endorse this product, but I'm be, being paid to say so, if that's the motivation of someone to share information yeah, but about I product. Think, yeah, but then it's the other way around, right? You get money if you're going to name the product. Yeah, but, but if it would be the other way around, it would be very different. How do you mean, which other way around? If you would name it first and then people respond that, oh, wow, thanks for this. And we're going oh, yeah. to be money now. Yeah, absolutely. If because it's, if then it... the reason for sharing is not the being paid for it. Yes. But because it matters to you. and Yeah, it's much more honest. Notice. Yeah, It's much more honest. Yeah. And, and I think people need to stop thinking about what do I get for that in exchange yeah. on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, certainly I, I have nothing against uh, sponsorships or anything. If someone wants to do that, um, I think it should be transparent. Mm -hmm. But um, this idea that for everything that you share or give away, you should be paid. No. Oh, um, I, I, I don't think so. I think you can, you can get something in exchange, in exchange um, more indirectly. Mm -hmm. um, and... Uh, as you said, you get a new idea on your own idea. You get a, a, a yeah. thought, a, a more perspectives on, on what you are doing, and you don't lose anything. Mm -hmm. if, if your only advantage in, in whatever business it is that you're doing, if your only advantage is like your secret trick, 
then probably someone else can come up with that secret trick too. And I mean, few things are so extremely genius that you'd be the only person to come up with them. Mm -hmm. So I'd be, I'd be worried about your business if, if uh, you're scared to, to share uh, mm -hmm. some ideas. I mean, certainly there's so, um, like, if you have a patent or you come up with a really cool idea to build your own product, you, you don't, maybe don't want to share it with uh, your competition, but then maybe again, then again, you want. I think you should, because it's a, uh... You get a broader market, but that's yeah. more my idea on open innovation and such. I mm -hmm. think it's much more uh, healthy and sustainable uh, in in the long run. I, I believe it, it advances um, it advances technology. Absolutely. You know, otherwise, everybody has to invent, reinvent, literally reinvent the wheel because yeah. they couldn't profit off of what other people have found out. Yeah. And that's the whole idea about science is that um, society pays for it by paying for universities and, and um, all, all the different kinds of um, science and research that's being done. But then the results of that are free and mm -hmm. they, they have to be shared with the public. Yeah. And, and everybody can profit off of them. And that makes it um, peer reviewed for once, um, hopefully. Uh, and then uh, it's it's available to everyone to to build upon that, mm -hmm. and and that makes everybody advance so much faster. Yep. So that, I think it goes back to the argument of um, if you don't share it, it's as it's just though it didn't exist. Mm -hmm. And then by that you actually destroy it. Think about it. You, know, you have something that you don't share, and by not sharing it you make it not exist for everybody else, that's kind of like the same as destroying it. And if you destroy, you destroy it, you know, because, because you've taken it out of existence. It doesn't, it, it exists for yourself, but for no yeah, one else. Yeah, yeah but for and that, something. It's... You, could, you could say it's maybe something like destroying it, maybe not directly destroying, but mm -hmm. something like in the same family of words. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then if you destroy something, do you really care about it? Yeah, but if I, I don't know if I agree, but because if I um, think back about the painting, for instance, mm -hmm. uh, by the way, there's a Dutch song on a, on a man. Uh, Who cut off his ear house. and painted oh. a lot of blue? Um, no. <laughs> there's no uh, song about Van Gogh? Probably, but it's not the song I have in mind right now. But anyway, he has this beautiful painting uh, up until, and he really enjoys it. Yes. Um, and lets other people come to his house also to uh, to be able to enjoy it. Up until the time that there is these insurance people coming and say, "Oh my God, you have that painting? That is a really, really valuable painting, and you should insure it." And uh, and then he goes and. Uh, locks it up at night and nobody's allowed to uh, to come near anymore and da 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 uh, and sort of destroys his passion for sharing it yeah yeah yeah, yeah that, i think that's a nice illustration of of the concept that we've been talking about yeah, yeah. like if, if you if you care about something you share yeah then then i think i'm not sure if that's true um but i think if you care about something then that something in a way makes you happy. Mm -hmm. Like whether that be a family member that you care about or a topic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes sense. But it, it, in a way it's probably something you like spending time with. Mm -hmm. And why wouldn't you share that passion and, and enjoy being around other people who maybe discover that passion or share that same passion? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can build on that together again. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's very similar. Yeah. 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 It's in the same line. Nice. Yeah. Oh, we're so good at this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, th th there were the three things that I mentioned in the beginning that uh, you can care about. And that's a lot about the thing that you care about. That's like the thing that you share. And then there's mm -hmm. also the source from where it comes from, maybe your own brain or someone else who gave you that thing or that idea 
you know, mm -hmm. maybe you don't care so much about the painting, but the painter is your friend mm -hmm. and you're sharing it because you want to help your friend. So mm -hmm. like you care about a person or you share it with someone because you think um, that other person will enjoy whatever this is. So it's so a hooking two people up. <laughs> it's like <laughs> not a lot in there for you, <laughs> but maybe you can make two other people very happy. Yeah. Yeah. That would be nice. Yeah. I just thought of what else could you like if you care about not things but people what would that look like and I thought like oh wow <laughs> <laughs> oh now my mind is gone again oh. <laughs> I was thinking about people making money connecting other people yeah 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 I'm not, not so too much sure. about caring there I, 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 yeah. well it, it's caring about something but not about the people that they're connecting no, I think sure. I think it's probably more about caring for themselves yeah it's like and, and that's started in a in a, in a good me? way maybe it has started uh more on a yeah human level, say. maybe I don't know. maybe yeah. or maybe it was started with uh making money in the first place you know yeah. um like some people they start a business just thinking what could i be making a lot of money with real yeah. quick and they don't it's really care that much about the product and yeah. then they hire a bunch of people who care about the product to make it work but yeah and they make the money it could be anyway anyway around but i also think that if you if you share something for the sake of yourself it's also a form of self-care mm -hmm. like um whatever it is that you're passionate about and you share say, say you have a thought you came up with something um let's say co uh, coaching related you're pa we are passionate about coaching Mm -hmm. So you come up with a new idea regarding coaching and you don't necessarily share it only for the people with who you share and not only because you care about the topic, mm -hmm. but also because you care about yourself. You know, you want, by sharing, you generate feedback. You generate a, uh, a relationship with the people with who you share and uh, a discussion, interactions, um, whatever it is and and a lot of times probably you you, you think you're probably going to get a, a positive response i was going to say likes but you shouldn't do things for likes that is sick that it's not good don't do it um but it's, it's something that you share because you care about yourself if that makes mm -hmm. any sense mm -hmm. yeah, yeah at least i understand what you mean yeah, yeah or if you win an award or uh you mm -hmm. do a great job you could post about that or, or tell someone about that. Like today mm -hmm. I had a really great day and I, uh, I, I ran a great workshop or, or, or I was really able to help that friend. I mean, you don't share that with someone to make that other person feel great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, maybe because you care about the topic, but mostly because you care about yourself and you want to share your, your own happiness and, and mm -hmm. uh, get feedback, you know, sort of sort of generate some sort of uh echo in a way mm -hmm. yeah 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 that makes sense yeah so i think the, the sharing is caring is, is said a lot of you know people say it it sounds it sounds like it's printed on the back of a sugar package you know like this, or, or on a tea bag <laughs> mm -hmm. oh my god <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's uh, important stuff there um, but I I, th I do think it goes a lot deeper than that. Yeah. Think about it. I've been I've been um, uh, recently uh, the past couple of weeks uh, more digging into the the purpose driven development. I don't know if you've mm -hmm. read or interested in it or whatever. Absolutely, I'm interested. So in more it. from tell me about it. Uh, the knowledge uh, economy that we uh, that we are having more to a purpose-driven uh, uh, economy. Um, apparently, we're sort of on the forefront of that. Uh, and I really believe in you that. You mean like with so sociocracy and holacracy and that kind of thing? Uh, no, I mean, even more general as a, as a species. Mm -hmm. Like we, we've gone from the industrial revolution and industrial economy to more of a knowledge economy where we are in right now. Um, and we're more and more advancing into the the purpose uh, driven 
development and economy of mm -hmm. uh, products and services. Um, because we've evolved with our knowledge into, I don't know, some sort of a level. Mm -hmm. um, and then we wonder, yeah, but all this indiv individualism and globalization, uh, but why am I doing this? And how can I contribute uh, to either making the world a better place or my local community or on whatever level that it is, but, but more of uh, the purpose drivenness uh, in there. So not much. It's more connectedness in a way. More, yeah, maybe you know, moving away from the super individualism have, to, yeah, to more connectedness. So. Back to more connectedness and more, uh, uh, I don't know, making things together, doing things together and mm -hmm. also the sharing part. Mm -hmm. More the, yeah. Yeah, caring more about other people, I would say. Yeah. And I and would not, say not sociocracy, I don't know, it, it, it's a very nice example, I think, of a, of a way to, uh, uh, to handle your organization or your community, how you set that up and how you govern that. Um, so in a sense, yes, but I meant it even broader than uh, the sociocratic. Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe context. like uh, sociocracy and things like that coming up these days, versus yeah. in the 1990s um, is probably a symptom of, of society changing. Yes, in I that, think so. In that way. Yeah. 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 When, way. It, it wouldn't yeah. have, maybe, and, and people are probably gonna, gonna, gonna tell me about that, um, the ideas probably were around back then. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is nothing yes. new. Oh, yeah. But they, they, um, f the, somehow now society is different and thinks differently about these ideas than mm -hmm. they would have back then. Yeah, I think back then it was more on the local level and more on the uh, really social communities and it still is, but now it's also moving into business and okay, mm -hmm. we can, we can mm -hmm. also have these relationships and more value to uh, what people have to say and can do and care about uh, to connect that also uh, while making money. I mean, yes, have yes. To stand in the way. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. yeah. It, people start to understand that making money does not mean the opposite of caring. It does not mean exactly. the opposite of sharing. Exactly. Of course, your, your company needs to make money. Otherwise you go bankrupt and then there is no more company. Yeah. But that, that, that doesn't mean you should only be selfish and care about yourself. You yeah. can, you can do both. It's possible. Yeah. And, and it's probably, you know, it's, it's, it's probably even lifts both ends higher up if you do both. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then instead of doing just one, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yep. we're hippies. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! Absolutely. So I think uh, with this, it's Christmas time. At least around the time we're recording this, um, yeah. sharing is caring. Share some gifts. Uh, share some love. The share world needs hope. it. And uh, we wish you happy holidays um, and, and tons of cookies. And um, of course, tons of cookies for everyone. <laughs> cookies and love for everyone. No? Cookies, uh, and love, cookies and love for everyone? Love and whatever you want, yes. <laughs> yes, and uh, if you care about us or yourself or your feedback, we'd love to hear that as usual. Post in the comments below or uh, let us know on Twitter. Um, there's Twitter handles at the end of this video. Let us know about everything. Thanks for listening and have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.